Kyle, Kyle said he had a pretty good idea to do the starting quarterback in week one. Do you have a pretty good idea? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> you're smiling about it. That must mean something, right? Uh, it's whatever he decides, yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I, I, I have a pretty good idea. I'm pretty happy with where, with where I'm at right now and everything, and just the offense as a whole. Uh, but, yeah, Kyle's the head man. He'll make the call. Uh, we had a good talk with you on practice Friday after you did. Uh, he said one of the things that you and him were talking about was your quick release and how you studied him and Aaron. Can you just talk about that aspect of your game and how you worked on it and got better at it? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's going back to when I first became a quarterback. Uh, those were two of the first guys that I started, you know, watching and just seeing how they play the game. Obviously, having been with Tom for a while, learned a lot of things from him too. But those two guys, uh, Drew and Aaron, I thought did it at a high level. Just uh, more similar style to me, I guess. And so, yeah, tried to copy them as much as I could. Did Drew, did Drew, have, did Drew have any other advice on the situation you were in, which is kind of parallel to where he was 15 years ago? Uh, a little bit. Uh, we were just kind of talking ball, really. Uh, we talked about the situation for a little bit and just, uh, you know, how him and Taysom did it. And it's, uh, it's a thing that I wasn't really used to, I guess you could say, uh, just the in and out part of it. So I was trying to pick his brain, how he handled that, and, you know, you come out for a play or two and then go back in, how that how that all works. What kind of advice did he give you on that? Uh, I'll keep that between me and him, but just kind of stay ready type of thing. Uh, yeah, just it's it's a different type of flow to the game. You know, as a quarterback, you're used to being out there the whole time, and so it's just uh, something that uh, you just got to get reps and get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's happened a little bit in training camp just with some of the different types of things we're doing with Trey. But, uh, yeah, I mean, whenever I'm out there, I'll be ready to roll. It's just one of those things you just got to, uh, you know, it is what it is. After what you went through in New England with Tom, do you have any advice for Trey for all the quarterback questions he gets on a daily basis? <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's handling it like a champ. Trey's, uh, Trey's a good dude. He, he's pretty even keel for the most part. I think that's a big part of it. But uh, no, I, I'm sure he's doing a great job with it. Uh, advice for it? I don't, I don't know. Just be yourself, I guess. I think you watched film from the last game. What takeaways do you have from it? Um, pretty much the same thing that I thought uh, out there. Uh, we left some stuff out there. There was a couple plays that we should have easily had, uh, plays that we've made before and, and we should have made in that one. But uh, yeah, like I said, the the interception. That's me and BA have hit that a million times out here. We just gotta come up with it, and you know we gotta make it work. But other than that, I thought it was uh, like I said before, it was a pretty good drive. Said you came in this training camp with more command than you have in the past. Did you feel that? Did you notice that yourself? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, it's not something that I tried to you know do in the off season. I, I've always had you know, leadership. I don't know, quality, I guess you could say, but I think just understanding the offense and having a better feel for where guys are, how to get guys in certain spots, calling the plays, and all those little things that go into it. I think it just comes with experience, and that's one thing that I've, I've noticed it out here, and uh, it's paying off. Did you say that a couple more guys? Take a couple, like, it takes a while to get a hold of that with his offense. Yeah, it's, this offense is just different. Uh, you know, We've cut down some of the verbiage and things like that, which makes it easier, but... It's just uh, it's a different type of offense. It's constantly changing. Uh, you know, we're trying new things this day, and the next day we try this with it. And there's just a lot of a uh, lot of moving parts that you have to, as a quarterback, mentally hone in on and, and focus. And once you do, it becomes a lot easier. Specifically, on moving parts, all the pre-snap motion stuff you guys do. What what kind of workload does that add to your plate in terms of having to know where guys are? What kind of chaos it might have before a play? Yeah, it's uh, it adds a lot of work throughout the week. Uh, that's why. You know, once we get into the game planning part of it, it's totally different than what we've been doing in training camp. Training camp, you got the entire playbook, everything's at Kyle's access just like that, and you just have to be able to recall it. Once we get into the game plan, it's kind of, you know, more condensed, and you kind of have an idea of what you're doing going into the game, and so it allows you to focus more and hone in on those little things. Jimmy, what's the biggest focus for you in a, in a dress rehearsal game for you in the first team offense? Uh, I think just ha one having all the guys out there would be really nice. Getting into a little rhythm, we haven't had that uh, in one of these games yet. So getting into the rhythm, uh, feeling everyone in the huddle, you know, just seeing where everyone's at with everything, how we move, the tempo in and out of the huddle, all those little things. That's that's really what you look for in the dress rehearsal.
I mean, obviously, last one. <clears throat> as we've discussed all summer, I drafted a quarterback in the first the first round. What that means for you, but they drafted a right guard in, in the second round, um, and you know, it means something for Daniel Brunskill. How has he responded, and, and just kind of what do you appreciate appreciate about him as a player? Dan, yeah. he's he's a hard worker, man. He's a hard nosed dude. Just uh, comes in, you know what you're getting every day out of him. Uh, he has a little bit of sarcasm that keeps you on your toes, but I, I like that about him. And uh, he just fits in with the crew. I mean, that whole all five of those guys up front and all the guys interchanging, it's a good group we got in there. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be behind those guys. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, Faithful, subscribe to our YouTube channel.